Hey real estate pros, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into one of the hottest lead sources in the industry, expired listings. These are the leads that didn't sell the first time and they're often more motivated than any other type of seller. But turning expired listings into listings for yourself requires a careful step-by-step -step approach. Ready to learn the essentials? Let's get started. First things first, let's put ourselves in the shoes of an expired lead. Imagine going through the stress of listing your home, hiring an agent, staging everything, and getting excited about the next step, only to have your property sit on the market without selling. Then when the listing expires, they get dozens of calls from agents wanting to relist. They're understandably frustrated. That's where you come in. These homeowners are often still interested in selling, but they've lost some trust in the process. Your job is to address their concerns, offer a new perspective, and show them you have a fresh strategy to get their home sold. Let's jump into the steps. Step one is preparation. Before making contact, gather all the information you can about the expired listing. Look at the original listing price, time on the market, previous marketing strategies, and any feedback from potential buyers. This will show the homeowner that you've done your homework and understand what didn't work the first time. If you need reliable data, Red X's Expired Plus Lead Data is a fantastic resource. Each lead comes with property info, past trends, and more, so you're always knowledgeable on each call. Step two is all about what to say. The first conversation with an expired lead is your chance to build a connection and demonstrate your value. Here's a script that many top earners use effectively. Hi, homeowner. I noticed that your home was on the market recently, but didn't sell. I understand how frustrating that can be. I'd love to learn more about your experience and share a few ideas that might help you get the results you're looking for this time around. This script acknowledges their frustration and opens the door for a conversation without sounding pushy. Once they're engaged, follow up with a targeted marketing plan or a new pricing strategy to show that you've got a fresh approach. Now, timing is crucial with expired listings. Don't bombard them with calls, but don't disappear either. Here's a simple follow-up schedule that keeps you on their radar without overwhelming them. Day one, initial call to introduce yourself and offer value. Days two through five, daily calls to provide insights and keep the conversation going. And day seven, end the week with a check-in call to touch base and offer more solutions. Weeks two through three, follow up every two to three days to stay top of mind if they haven't relisted. And week four, a final follow-up call to show your ongoing support. A well-timed follow-up schedule shows your persistence and professionalism without pressuring the homeowner. Expired listings often come with objections. Let's cover a few and how to handle them professionally. You're the fifth agent to call me. Acknowledge the frustration of receiving so many calls and then pivot to how you can specifically assist them. For example, wow, I can understand how that would be frustrating. I'm surprised you picked up. While we're on the phone, could I ask a quick question? If your property had sold, where were you planning to move to next? Why didn't my house sell? Focus on factors like market conditions or pricing rather than blaming the previous agent. Try. There could be several reasons. I noticed the listing price was above the market average, which may have limited interest. I'd recommend a new pricing and marketing approach to attract the right buyers. How are you different from my last agent? Highlight your unique approach. One thing I focus on is a highly customized marketing plan tailored to reach the right buyers. Let me share a quick success story from a similar situation I handled recently. I don't want to relist right now. Respect their timing, but keep the door open. Try, I completely understand and there's no rush. If you'd like, I could keep you updated on the market over the next few weeks so you'll have the latest info if you decide to move forward. Finally, staying organized with all these follow-ups can be challenging. This is where a platform like Red X's Vortex can be a game changer. With Vortex, you have everything you need in one place, from lead details to follow-up reminders. Plus, it's free with any lead product from Red X. This makes tracking conversations easy and ensures you never miss a follow-up, which is essential to keeping those expired leads from slipping through the cracks. So there you have it, the essential steps to converting expired listings into real business. Remember, working with expires isn't just about making a quick call, it's about understanding the seller's mindset, following up strategically, overcoming objections, and staying organized. With consistency and empathy, you'll be on your way to securing more listings and building relationships that lead to future referrals. Well, thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and comment below on how you approach expired leads. And don't forget to check out Red X for tools to help you streamline your prospecting. And of course, happy prospecting.